Today, someone asked me why all of the bars in their pivot chart were the same color. So I'm going to show you why that happens and how you can change it. So here we have a very simple pivot table. We've got two years of data from four different cities. And it shows the number of cases that we sold in each of those cities each year. To create a pivot chart, I can go to the ribbon, click Insert, and then go over into the Charts, and I'll select a column chart and this 2D column chart. It automatically puts on a chart title, and you can see that it's showing the 2014 data, then 2015, and each city is there, and there's a very faint line in between those two groups. Everything is one color because it's all one series. If you point to one of the columns, it shows the series name is Total, and this is a point on that series, and it's 2015 Boston. If you wanted each city in a different color, we can't have them all in the same series. So with the pivot chart selected, I can look at the field list and we'll see what's happening. We've put our two fields into the row area, and when a chart is selected, it shows you that those are categories. So both order year and city are in as categories, and we don't have anything here as legend, which is the series, so everything is one color. If I wanted to see a different color for each year, I could move the order year into this legend series, and now 2014 is blue and 2015 is orange. I could do it in reverse so that each city is a different color. So I'll put city up into the series area and put order year. So now year is the category, so things are grouped by those categories. And there is a series for each city, so each city is a different color. So when you're building a pivot chart, anything that you want as a category should go into the row area. If we go back and click on the pivot table, we'll see that these names change, and now it's rows and columns. And you'll also notice that on the worksheet, the pivot table changed to the same layout as a pivot chart. You can't change one without changing the other if they're connected. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.